Trapper John. Yep, I know, there were three different actors who played the character, either in the Robert Altman motion picture or on two very different TV shows. But today, for this video, I'm focusing on this guy, Wayne Rogers, and in a minute or two, I'll talk about why he chose to walk away from M.A.S.H. when it was just about the biggest show on TV. No doubt about it. By the mid-70s, M.A.S.H. was one of the most popular shows on television. In fact, I'll go out on a limb and say it was beloved. There were so many things that this show had going for it. First and foremost, Wayne Rogers, Alan Alda, and the rest of the cast. Well, they were great. But it was more than just that. The creative team, led by Larry Gelbart, were top-notch as well. And because of all of those wonderful ingredients that went into the making of this wonderful TV show, it became one of the most successful comedy series in the history of American television. And Wayne Rogers had a big part in that success early on. But then McLean Stevenson decided to leave the show after the end of the third season. I remember his final episode well. And if you're a fan of MASH, you know why this episode is so memorable. And without doubt, the viewers knew that the character was departing from the show, but Trapper John? Well, he just kind of disappeared. Of course, Wayne went on to have a great career. He starred with Lynn Redgrave in another successful CBS comedy called House Calls, and like MASH, it was based on a movie as well. I also fondly remember his appearance on the TV movie I Dream of Jeannie 15 years later, where he replaced Larry Hagman as Jeannie's master, astronaut Tony Nilsson. But as time went on, Wayne seemed less and less interested in his acting career and instead focused on his keen skills in the world of finance. For years he had his own investment company and he could also be found on Fox Business News for a time with his own show, but for an even longer period as a noted expert and guest. So with all that said, we know that leaving Nash, well, it wasn't a mistake for Wayne. He followed his heart and it paid off handsomely. But why did Wayne abruptly leave M.A.S.H. after Season 3? And I say abruptly because there was no farewell episode. Nothing to indicate that the producers had any clue that he was going to leave. Wayne was able to do that, by the way, because he'd never signed any sort of contract when he was initially cast for the show. The producers had given him one to sign, but he had expressed reservations about some of the language in the contract, and believe it or not, no one ever followed up, which then allowed him to make a decision that no one saw coming to leave the show along with McLean Stevenson at the end of season three. Why did he do it? Well, truth be told, Wayne felt like he'd signed on to MASH to be a co-star along with Alan Alda, and as Hawkeye's popularity on the show seemed to grow with each passing episode, it felt like Trapper John was turning into more of a sidekick. Yep, the stories week after week seemed to focus on Hawkeye instead of Trapper John. And while Wayne loved working with Alan, and there were no hard feelings, there never were, he knew that if he stuck around, the dissatisfaction that he was feeling was going to continue to grow and fester, and it was a feeling that he did not like. He wanted to be happy, and at peace with the work that he was doing on screen, and for those reasons, he knew that he had to leave the show. So Wayne left. Left us with three amazing seasons of M.A.S.H., that is. I have a ton of wonderful memories, and I've made a few more videos about M.A.S.H., so I'll post a couple of them right here for you to watch if you'd like. I'd also love for you to share your memories of Wayne Rogers and M.A.S.H. in the comments section. And while you're at it, why not give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it? And I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.